A very warm welcome to ESPN's coverage of the Summer Soccer Series. We're coming to you live from CenturyLink Field in Seattle as the Sounders host Tottenham Hotspur in a prestige friendly. What's left at the moment for Pochettino? Because there's no Adebayor either. He's got malaria at the moment. No Sandro, he's ill. And no Kirikesh with a back problem. And you will notice one extra name in that lineup, that of Xander Bailey. More from him and Monica Gonzalez very shortly when we return. With his name in lights around the stadium, 18-year-old Xander Bailey from Bluefield, West Virginia, prepares for the moment of his young life. Kicking off this friendly game against Tottenham alongside his hero, Clint Dempsey. And he will be allowed a, a clean run on goal, and he draws a save from Brad Friedel. And watching on ever so proudly from the sidelines, his parents, Philip and Heather, Xander Bailey's moment in the spotlight, arranged by the Make-A-Wish Foundation in association with the Seattle Sounders. Xander, who trained with the squad yesterday and showed up well, and has just got the chance to play with and against some of his heroes. The one thing that he's not told those involved today is that even though he's played against Tottenham, he actually supports Arsenal. Push into that top four, and it's it's one of the most difficult things to do in the Premier League. You look at the way salaries are situated. Spurs usually fall into that six or seven. Kane towards Hull Bay. That's a good start under new management. A ghosting run into the box from Lewis Holby brings the opening goal for Tottenham. And that's just that little bit of quality that you see from Spurs. Nice ball in, splits two defenders, and this is the fantastic pass. Kane hitting in between Anibaba and Zach Scott. It's a fantastic cushioned header from the German Youth International. Just the start Tottenham want to have here in Seattle. He wants to just keep playing even though He's probably going to be third choice and getting an opportunity. There's a header for Dempsey! Similar to the arrival of Holby at the other end. Unseen by static defenders. Yeah, what an opportunity for Clint Dempsey. Great ball into the box. He just gets the better of Kyle Naughton at that far post. Ozzy Alonso with a fantastic cross. Kyle Naughton caught flat-footed, and Clint Dempsey knows he probably should have leveled the scoring. Pineda with this. And the referee didn't like that challenge. And here is a potential route back for Seattle. The referee pointing to the spot amidst some questioning glances from the Spurs players. Ch Chad Marshall's always a handful on set pieces. Look at Dawson, how he just, arm comes up over the head, knocking down Chad Marshall in that challenge. Sometimes what you're allowed to do in the Premier League, you're not allowed to do in other leagues. Michael Dawson figuring that out in this, sec in this first half. So, Brad Friedel, well known for his two penalty saves in the World Cup of 2002. Can he save this one? It's a Penenka penalty. Pineda converts. The Sounders are level. And Michael Dawson walks away ruefully. Uh, calm, cool, and collected from Gonzo Pineda. Just a nice little chip down the middle. Brad Friedel goes to his right, and we're all level. Martins, Dempsey, Obafemi Martins a second time, Dempsey a second time! Danny Rose popping up from nowhere on the line. Well, we talked about the relationship between Obafemi Martins and Clint Dempsey. Obafemi finds Dempsey. Dempsey doing what he does best is improvising early on. And then Obafemi giving the favor back. 
And there's the whistle for the break from Ted Uncle. And both sides will go off with something to ponder. Nagel keeping things alive. Popper. And Alonso! How about that? That is a goal to rave about. Ozzy Alonso with a welding. You know, Ozzy Alonso, a player known for his dogged persistence in winning back possession, but he's a player that has a great shot from distance. He just doesn't shoot as often as I would like to see him. Well, the ball fights kindly. He shows a gap, and he absolutely hammers it past Brad Fiedel off the underside of the crossbar, and the Sounders start this second half on fire. Soldado, and a chance for Roberto Soldado, it's a penalty, he was levered off the ball. Yeah, Soldado just showing his experience, great first touch, and then what he does, he just gets himself in between the ball and Chad Marshall, you see that little step over to shield it, Marshall comes in from behind. Soldado goes down, but that first touch is what set everything up, and there's the challenge, there's the penalty, and a great opportunity for the player who was fouled to step up and equalize. Well, Roberto Soldado was dreadfully short of goals in the second half of last season, just one after New Year. That'll make him feel a little better. Tottenham haul themselves level. They were behind for barely five minutes. Onside is a Coley. Seattle have numbers here, and Bowen scores! One minute after coming on as a substitute. Seattle lead by the odd goal in five. It's just Akoli has pace. There was a step up for offside. Sounders are able to break it. It's an excellent pass. Akoli just finding the open. Tristan Bowen. Talk about two substitutions coming to fruition quickly after their introduction. Ceballos retrieves it for Falke, who nutmegs Pineda. And then was that hands? It was. It's another penalty kick. No sooner does Seattle take the lead than Tottenham have the opportunity to level. Well, I was just about to say, what kind of response does Tottenham have? There was a great response after they originally had taken the lead. There's the cross. There's the arm. And it's a second penalty of the game, or third penalty of the game, second penalty of the game for Tottenham Hotspur. Well, not much has gone wrong recently for that man, DeAndre Yedlin, but... Yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate. I'm not sure how much DeAndre could have done about that. But here's an opportunity for Josh Ford to step up. It's going to be his first touch of the match if he can come up with the save. It's Falke for Tottenham. They've changed their taker, not Soldado this time. Yago Falke! Goalkeeper got fingertips to it, but it's 3-3. Well, the fans have gotten their money's worth. Excellent response from Tottenham. Maybe a little bit fortunate with the penalty call. But Falke, it was close. Josh Ford went the right way. But Falke just getting it past the young Sounders goalkeeper to level it at three. Well, this game, friendly in title, if not in nature has produced plenty, and now it produces a moment where the referee has to decide how much leniency he shows in what is not supposedly a competitive fixture. These pictures would suggest that there is an edge. 
Well, there's definitely an edge, but so much of what comes out of this is, you know, players get a little bit, a little bit heated when a little bit of a late challenge comes in because everybody knows that in a situation like this, this is where you don't want to get injured in a game like this. And tempers are starting to flare a little bit, but that's nice. Gives a little bit of an edge to the match, like you said, John. This is this is what you like to see. And well, Ted Uncle is the man who must adjudicate. So far, he's just out three yellow cards and awarded three penalties. That's a little bit of a high challenge from Soldado. Then Ozzy Alonso letting him know what he thinks. Yellow card to both those players, Casey, Alonso and Soldado. That's about right. Just a bunch of pushing, nothing, nothing serious. It's been an excellent match. EPL opposition. The last hurrah, the last chance. And it was met by Jimmy Traore who in the ungainly stakes would be somewhere near the top of the list. There's the whistle. What an excellent game. It was. It was a fantastic display from the Sounders representing MLS well. Tottenham Hotspur, we know what situation they're in. Two weeks into their preseason, first competitive match, showing that quality and being able to fight back twice to get the draw. But overall, just, I think, an excellent representation for what this summer soccer series is all about. And one last look at that final opportunity. Oh, Jimmy Traore, the side volley. And in the end, bounces it harmlessly over Brad Friedel's goal. But still, an excellent, an excellent display from both sides. Very entertaining.